All right, everyone. So, I have decided to do another video, and this time I am going to transplant some dill that I have been given as a gift into a new pot. Um, I had gone in put on a talk the other day. I was at I was the guest speaker at a and an eating by the seasons healthy potluck, and my parting gift were I was given this absolutely magnificent, beautiful looking bunch of fresh dill right out of the plant. It was grown hydroponically and I will get into why that's important in a minute. And I was also given this massive, fabulous bunch of kale. I mean seriously look at that. That is amazing and I'm totally going to have some fun with it. I'm not sure I'm going to replant it. Um, I'm, I'm thinking I might just go ahead and use it but you never know. It's a little something I have to do some more research on. Okay. In the meantime I'm just going to go ahead and uh, put that off to the side right now. They have been soaking in water for a couple days and today is the day I'm going to go ahead and replant. So why is it important to know that the dill was grown hydroponically? Well, because dill doesn't transplant well. Uh, from the research that I have done, dill seeds, uh, when you grow dill from seeds rather, they have a tendency to grow very, very long and very, very fragile roots. So when you plant dill from seed for the first time, the idea is to try to plant it where you're going to have it like hang out for the long haul because you don't want to have to try to to uproot it and replant it because the possibility of damaging the roots is pretty pretty heavy so and just to give you an idea of I think I've shown you in my other videos I am definitely trying to trying the key word here to grow my own dill that's all from seed that was planted about I don't know a month and a half ago and it had gotten off to something of a slow start but it's looking like these little guys, or several of them anyway, are actually standing up tall on their own. Um, they had grown very tall and very leggy very quickly, and they were not supporting themselves well. So, And I think I planted way too many of them, you know, in one pot, like right, right next to each other. But we will just call that a newbie mistake. And uh, no worries, because this is a learning experience for me. And sometimes the best way to learn what to do is to first learn what not to do. In fact, that, that is the story of my life. But that, that's for another video. <laughs> so, I'm going to go ahead and we were going to sit back down. And this is the plan. So what I have done. Well, I've got my organic potting soil. And I actually don't know the name of this stuff. I think it's just a tura and it is supposed to be organic potting soil this is what I was told anyway at the uh, hardware store and in the bottom of the pot this is what I actually have been using the Joby's organics natural and organic potting mix it's got a whole mix of different things in it it's got some wood chips and other organic materials um, I was out and this is what my dad was kind enough to pick up for me because he knows what I'm attempting to do here. So what I ended up doing is I've got this container and it's got some drainage in it which is great and I've already put the rest of the Joby's, it's either Joby's or Job's, I don't know. Uh, for now I'm going to call it Joby's but I reserve the right to change that whenever I learn otherwise. And so that's what I've done. I poured the rest of it in there and I had added some water and you would have actually seen all that if I had the camera set to record when I thought it was recording it. Instead, I just kind of heard myself talk for a while. It's all good. So, and coffee grounds. So, why am I putting coffee grounds in here? Well, I put coffee grounds in because I've kind of heard that that's a good idea. So, if it's an acid loving plant, the acid loving plants tend to like nitrogen and coffee can be a release of nitrogen. <sighs> this is what I say. Everybody seems to have a different take on it. And that's one of the interesting things about learning to garden is when you look stuff up 
What you have is you have a bunch of wonderful and well-meaning individuals who all have different ideas about what might have worked for them and you might end up getting some contradictory information. And you know what I say to all that? I say it's all good. And the reason it's all good is because it is a learning experience. I'm not doing this to sell anything to anybody. I'm doing this because I want to learn. So I'm going to enjoy the process of this. I'm actually just kind of enjoying sitting out here on my lanai right now, expressing myself creatively as I look out at the trees and the greenery and I am surrounded right now with nature and I'm not even in the sun right now um, so the temperature is actually really nice and uh, I'm just enjoying this process okay so this is what I'm gonna do I am going to go ahead and I don't even know if this is gonna work okay I've never replanted anything like this I don't even know if this is gonna work so before I grab the dill, now that I've already got some potting soil in there, I'm just going to sprinkle a little bit of coffee in there. Okay, I'm not really looking to overdo it. Not really looking to overdo it and mix it. Mix it in there. Okay, probably should have grabbed, probably should have grabbed the, um, the fertilizer and I didn't and the reason I didn't is because I am capable of forgetting things that I just reminded myself to do like 30 seconds before so I could either bring you in the kitchen with me with my one now dirty hand or we could save the fertilizer for another day or later I say we'll go with the latter so I'm gonna go ahead and pour just a touch more water in there and the idea is to keep the soil nice and moist throughout because this is where the roots are going to be okay because I'm going to plant these a bit deep and again the reason I'm going to plant these a bit deep is because I know the, the roots have already grown so I would like to just keep them supported but do I know this for a fact no I don't know this for a fact I'm learning and because of the fact that I'm learning and I enjoy making the videos so far especially because for right now I'm not actually in front of them um, I'll give you an update okay so wipe off my hand because I did have enough foresight to keep a rag here thankful for small favors and uh, I'm going to go ahead and grab the dill okay with their long Wow long fabulous root system okay and now I'm going to add some more soil to it however I would like to have two hands for this so I'm going to do one of two things I'm either going to set the camera down and see if I can film this or I'm gonna pause the camera go ahead and put the soil in and then show you what that looks like afterwards because I'm looking to make this to be a nice experience for you too without a bunch of shaky movements so let's see what this looks like if I put the camera down and it looks like um, it looks like you will see a whole lot of chair and a little bit of actual work so I'm going to go ahead and pause this because nobody really wants to look at a chair and I will be right back